<laughs> right, well, thank you, John. Um, can't add anything to that, and I think everyone will agree that without John and the rest of the coaching staff, none of this would happen. So, boys, can we have a huge round of applause for the coaches? Show our appreciation in a, in a time honoured manner. If we could have the coaches, please. Yeah, Andy, on behalf of the parents. Thank you. Reporter, and, and last year I have to say I was sorry to report that we had huge editorial oversight. I mean, this was this was China all over again. It was the China press office, day. and I'm pleased to say that mainly this year we have been able to edit that out, and a lot of that's disappeared, apart from the first match report of the season. And Mr. Harrison is my editor in chief, and what I would like to recommend is he takes a course in Word. Because the, the, the word replacement feature does not quite get the sentence right. And I'll give you an example. This is a Farnham Guildford match. And I and I read, I haven't got my glasses on, so oh, I'll just I'll read it. That. It says Farnham backs benefited from the extra rut and mauling trading. And with the with the tight five working well together, they dominated the scrum and competed well at the line out. The backs competed well at the line out. I'm not sure. It's, it's quite odd that one. But we moved on, we moved on, and a new trend appeared in the report, which was quite interesting, and this was about the referee. <laughs> Can I give you an example? Guildford were good visitors, and the match was played in a true competitive youth rugby spirit. And again, Farnham were fortunate to have a good referee who earned the respect of players and spectators alike. <laughs> I can't mention who the referee was. Old Rygations Farnham, second half referee. Old Rygations were great hosts and played the game in good spirit. Hard but fair. Our thanks also go to the referee who kept everything and everybody in order. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, <laughs> and finally, these are for official match reports, you can read them on the web. Rosalind Park were worthy opponents and excellent hosts. Of course they were. The game was played in a spirit of good rugby and the referee controlled the game with a blend of humour, <laughs> discipline and free-flowing rugby. Thank you. <laughs> now, the only referee I remember in the first half was the big guy who had to take yeah. the time out. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that was John in the second half. He is to be highly recommended for his efforts, and more importantly, all the boys enjoyed it. <laughs> and I assume that includes just as well. So, John, <laughs> for all your efforts, on behalf of all the parents. shining. For those who were able to stay on and, and perhaps talk about the development of their offspring, uh, I drink Guinness. Um, <laughs> if you're not interested, then uh, no. We'll see you next week. Seriously, just before we do say goodbye, I'd love to see all of these guys back next year. So if you're a parent, please encourage your uh, sons to uh, come back and support Final Rugby Club next year. Without these guys, we have no rugby club. So, you know, summer break, we'll meet, we'll meet each other in, in June. And uh, if you've got any guys of a similar age, well, same age, ideally, um, <laughs> we'd really love to see them again next year also. So thanks very much for your time and patience this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.